What school won't tell you. Lesson 1. Hi guys. In our previous videos, we've often referred to the Swiss man known as Billy Meyer, who took the world's best UFO photos or beamship pictures as these crafts are being referred to. You may think these are fake, but actually, they're not. The initial set of beamship pictures has been taken on January 28, 1975. From that day on, the player and I have provided Billy with many opportunities for additional photo shoots, all the way up to the year 1984. During this time, Meyer has shot more than 1500 photos of beamships, crystal clear and perfect quality, unlike anything ever seen before. Sounds too good to be true? It is, though. The accusations against Billy to have forged these photos are intriguish lies and flat-out stupid. Sure, today it's perfectly normal to use a mobile phone for snapping selfies or shooting videos and upload them to social web services. But in the 70s of the last century, any photography or filming was a lot harder to do and it was really expensive. Even giant Hollywood productions had some serious challenges to overcome when creating science fiction films. In 1975, when Billy happened to publish his first beamship materials, a major motion picture went into production, which would later become world-renowned under the title Star Wars A New Hope. But in 1975, the Hollywood special effects industry was non-existent and everything had to be built from scratch and reinvented from models, camera motion controls, to the complex optical printers. Everything needed to be built on a multi-million dollar budget from a major studio. That's why it's very amusing that Billy, who never had any significant financial resources, is credited with such a massive undertaking. Billy shot his first Super 8 films in January 1975. In those days, Super 8 was very much a thing, and pretty much the only way for an average person to create moving images. On professional motion picture productions, cameras used to expose a 35mm negative film, which went through multiple optical printing processes to create a final positive film stock for projection. Super 8, however, worked very much like a slide film. The footage exposed in the camera was a reversal, a color-positive film that was developed in the lab and sent back to the customer. There were no intermediate prints. The actual exposed film stock was the same print the customer got back. The Super 8 film was launched by Kodak in 1965 as a successor to the normal 8 film format. It was hugely popular for holiday films, family celebrations, and similar events. People loved Super 8 for its ease of use. The film came in a sealed cartridge that fits snugly into the camera for easy exposure and then got sent to the lab for development. It was impossible to rewind an already exposed cartridge to perform any kind of double exposure or other optical tricks like Billy Edward Albert Meyer has been accused of. To the ordinary average person, it was just as impossible to produce credible photographic fakes. In the 70s and 80s of the last century, analog photo montages could only be created at great cost and with severe compromises in quality that would not have withstood any analysis. The hugely popular Photoshop application has first been developed in 1988 by Thomas Nall and his brother John, years after Billy took the last of his beamship photos. Pictures, however, are not the only proof of Meyer's contact with extraterrestrial beings. Former Air Force Colonel Wendell Stevens and his team have scientifically examined numerous photographs rearing sounds of the beam ships and metal samples the play arm had given to Billy. We're dealing with something of size. 
No manipulations could be detected on the original photos. With any technology that I know of could not achieve this on this Earth plane. The metal samples have been created by means of a cold alloy process that is unknown on Earth. We come to a metal section as we see here and it showed a combination of metals that I've not encountered in any normal bit of metallurgy, both crystalline deposits and metal. An analysis of the whirring sounds has shown that several synthesizers would have been required to mix this combination of sounds. Pretty much impossible for any private person in the 70s. If Billy had actually been able to pull off these photo, film and sound forgeries, he could make millions running a leading special effects company, the likes of Industrial Light Magic and Weta Digital. Now you're probably wondering why dozens of accusations of forgery against Meyer are all over the web and why alleged photo fakes are being openly called out. How does all of this make any sense? There are powers on Earth who don't like the fact that somebody makes the truth known and gets people to think. For it could mean true freedom and independence from the ruling elite that has long since abandoned any decency and completely lost control of any good human nature. That is why Billy Edward Albert Meyer must be silenced or at least discredited by any means necessary. Since the 23 assassination attempts on Meyer's life have failed, they have tried to discredit him and make him out to be a fraud. The owner of the photo lab, where Meyer had his slides developed into prints, was threatened by ominous men in black to draw threats into some of the pictures so that the beam ships featured could be defamed as models. The most insidious forgery was the well-known picture of the two extraterrestrial girls, Asket and Nera, that Billy was able to snap in the adjacent doll universe. When the lab technician received the slides to develop, he was once again threatened by the men in black and received a photo of two American dancers, Michelle de la Fave and Susan Lund, who bear an uncanny resemblance to the extraterrestrial girls. It should be noted that even in those days, the man in black had incredible technical capabilities and resources, which made it possible for them to track down the two doppelgangers so quickly. They forced the technician of the photo lab to create a forgery that showed the two dancers. The dances have been merged with the real extraterrestrial girls so well that even Billy and the player in themselves did not immediately recognize it as a fake. But only years later, when the player Abta sought complete clarification. Since then, the picture is no longer published as a representation of extraterrestrial girls. Critics accuse Billy of simply snapping the show dancers from the Dean Martin show off the TV screen. But it's not that easy. Have you ever tried to take a picture of a tube TV set from the 1970s or 80s with an old slide camera? No matter how many times you try, aside from the familiar line patterns, you will always have a bold horizontal bar across a picture due to the interference of the TV tube with the shutter speed of your slide camera. That's why it was simply impossible for Billy to take TV stills without them being recognizable as such. Only in April 2017 an actual meeting of Michelle de la Fave and Billy Meyer transpired after the dancer had become aware of the fake pictures on the internet. As you can see, the actual facts about Billy Edward Albert Meyer do not even remotely fit the narrative his antagonists try to push. He leads a modest life secluded in a property in Hinterschmidrüti. Billy works quietly on spreading their spiritual teaching, the teaching of life and truth, and stays out of the limelight as best he can. As you can see, the Billy Meyer case is indeed very interesting and despite loud opposition, not so easy to dismiss. But what if everything Billy says is actually true? 
all religions, sectarians, politicians, lobbyists, industrialists, etc., would lose their power, and our society would turn upside down. So the truth must be silenced. No matter how whimsical, weak-minded, and stupid the arguments may be. But even for the politicians, lobbyists, secret service agents, sectarians, religious leaders, industrialists, etc., who want to rule the world according to their demented ideas, there will soon be a bitter awakening, whether they like it or not. The spiritual teaching taught by Billy, known as the teaching of life, speaks of the reincarnation of the immortal spirit form together with the overall conscience plot and a new personality. Every clear-minded human being can realize this fact by simply observing nature and its laws. All matter is subject to a constant cycle of becoming and passing, a creational law no human being on earth can escape from. So even the most unethical, power-hungry person will not be able to escape the consequences of his actions and will soon once again lead a life on the world that he has helped destroy, because his spirit form will inevitably be reborn. The critics had better ask themselves why Billy and his extraterrestrial friends take this much toll upon themselves. What do they want to tell us that they go through so much trouble? Would it not be wiser to concentrate our energy on really fundamental issues that redefine our existence, our way of life, even our futures, mankind, instead of slandering a selfless proclaimer like that? When we look at our history, it's safe to say we have not exactly immersed ourselves in glory, and it's clear that we can't proceed in this way. So I challenge every Billy critic to just disregard the beam ship or UFO photos and instead keep an open-minded lookout for the message to play on bring us together with Billy. Everyone is free to do so or not. However, those who do will no longer worry about such trivial matters as beam ships and their photos. Check out the comments for additional links and more information. Until next time, when we once again reveal what school won't tell you. <laughs>